to thank uh, some great people out there who worked. You know, Proverbs says, iron sharpens iron. And this primary on the Republican side for the 3rd District has been led by good people who have committed to serving this community. I want to thank Team Leffler, Team Hasso, for the work that you did out there because I think as a result, all three of us became stronger candidates with a mutual goal of being able to beat Cindy Axie. Friends, victories like this don't just happen. They take a lot of hard work. And we have spent the better part of a year doing what we have done for our community here in Iowa, in the State House, our service overseas. But tonight, we are immediately underdogs. We recognize we come into this race for the third district behind the power curve, being the champion who's got to be able to fight for Iowa in a world that has become very difficult for families, not just like ours, but families like yours. Many of you who are watching tonight are probably wondering how you're going to fill up your minivan with a tank of gas when, double, when gas prices double. With the rate of inflation, you have to contemplate what kind of food are you going to be able to put on your table and what kind of football game are you going to be able to take your kids to or what type of future they're going to have going forward. When you talk to your friends, your parents, and you watch their lifetime savings being bled out because of the greatest inflation rate in my lifetime, that's a hardship that all of us feel. So whether it's the fields of Iowa or fuel independence for our country, we've done a lot of really good things here in Iowa, and that is why we are so committed to serving nationally. You know what? We've been on tough missions before. As a military member deployed overseas, having the privilege of commanding young troops off the coast of Russia, a commitment for us is to be able to identify goals and tackle them. Here in Iowa, we have delivered time and again on goals that have helped people.